here as a child, I definitely remember um, we used to we tailgate out at Pride Field, and I remember always getting excited to put on my little cheerleader uniform and just to go have fun with my friends. And even some of those friends are here with me now. So ever since I can remember, we uh, we would come and tailgate. It'd be my grandparents and my parents, and then just people I never really knew, but they knew. And we'd you know tailgate every home game every every year, and it was just. It became just a normal thing. We came to a lot of football games. I used to dress up like as a cheerleader, like a Southern cheerleader. I remember like meeting all the football players, like getting to shake their hands and basketball games. I've always bled black and gold. My grandparents came to Southern. My parents came to Southern. My sister's at Southern right now, and I've just always loved it. It's pretty much a family tradition to come to Southern Miss because literally everyone in my family from grandparents, great-grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins have all gone here. Since I'm from Hattiesburg, I've grown up in the campus. I've been to a lot of football, baseball, and basketball games, and I feel really at home here and just want to continue the tradition of excellence here at Southern Miss. My family's always kind of been in, around Southern Miss. It's just a really great tradition, and I've always had fond memories of coming to the ball games with my dad and when I was a young kid and uh, it just feels like home. I come from a Southern Miss family. I've had uh, both of my parents, sister, uh, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents have all been uh, Southern Miss alumni and um, I've been coming to the games ever since I was little and it just feels like home. My grandparents have uh, gone to Southern Miss, my dad and his brothers. It's just been kind of a family tradition. It was really the Honors College. Um, I just wanted to find a smaller family within the family. All the people are so friendly, and that's really what brought me here. I came to Black and Gold Day, and I just told my mom, this is where I'm going to school. That everybody was so nice, and everything was in order, so I just love that about the school. My uncle, my aunt, grandfather, mother, father, and my brother is currently here on the baseball team, and they all went to Southern, and. I guess it's sort of a family tradition and going to every single game, it was going anywhere else felt wrong. I chose my major because I've always loved science and when I get older I want to be an orthopedic surgeon. Well, I chose English because in high school all of my English teachers were incredible and um, they just got me excited about learning and reading. I guess I've always kind of wanted to be a businessman. I just like the idea of business and uh, business means money and that's good. I chose my major because I believe that one should love what they do and that you should never really have to work a day in your life if you love what you do. And my passion has always been theater, so that's why I chose theater. I couldn't picture myself anywhere else other than Southern Miss. It's such a, like a home feeling. Everyone makes you feel right at home. It's a very uh, friendly, comfortable, laid back atmosphere. I love how, again, it feels kind of like home. I love how uh, everyone's really nice and helpful. A great community feeling here, you know, everyone's friendly. I just like being here in general. It's, it's just enjoyable. The whole campus and everybody here, it's just a really cool place. The thing I like most about being a student here is just being in this environment. Everybody here is so um, friendly. You know, you're walking to class or anywhere and everyone says hi. You know, if they look at you, they give you a smile. and. Anywhere else you wouldn't really get that, but here you really feel welcome. After graduation, I either see myself going to grad school or possibly starting my dream, which is to open up a theater for disabled children or troubled youth because I believe that it's really important for children to find their voice and that's how I found my voice. I plan to go to PT school and become a physical therapist to work with special needs children. I see myself hopefully getting a good job, um, hopefully one where I can travel and uh, work abroad and I hope to be successful in whatever it is that I do decide to do. Well, once I graduate, i probably become an alumni, join the Alumni Association, <laughs> give back to, so other people can other children can have an opportunity to go to school. Well, first of all, I um, plan to like get my degree from Southern Miss and after I graduate, continue to be a donor to Southern Miss and help students just like I am to come to Southern Miss, help them with their funds. I would say thank you, thank you, thank you 
Um, it's been such um, an opportunity and such a blessing for me to be able to um, accept this scholarship. I probably would have been in a sticky situation as far as tuition and all that. So I just want to say thank you for starting this scholarship. It's a really big deal to get something like this. Not everybody can say that they've received the Pierce Legacy Scholarship. It proves that all the hard work I've done in the past has paid off. I would just thank them for giving me the money to go to USM. Thank you for supporting the students. It means a lot. It means that my family is really involved in this university and, and I've always loved the university so it means a lot to me. Thank you very much because I wasn't able to get all of my school paid for so this definitely helped a lot. It means a lot. I'm very blessed to have received it. It means a lot to me because my parents and my grandparents, my sister and my cousins have gone here. Now it's my turn to go here. It means a lot to continue the legacy here at Southern Miss.